It smells so good in here. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, first, there's a variety of things that uh, that make lavender so appealing. Uh, what's what's trending in your lavender world? Why do people love it? Uh, it's very relaxing. It mm -hmm. smells um, exceptionally good, and um, it's been shown to help us sleep and help ease anxiety. So folks yeah. love it for that. Um, you've brought some gorgeous lavender to the set. Um, walk us through what we have here. Um, so, well, we have one of our top selling products, which is our lavender room and linen spray. It's safe for anything cloth. You mm -hmm. can actually even spray it on your clothes, mist your pillow before you get to bed at night to help you get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Um, we have another great product called Hills Down. It's to help soften your feet. Um, of course, our soy candles. We have a bath and body oil, our whipped body butter, an all-natural insect deterrent, um, and then some lotion and soap and anti-inflammatory spray. And back up that insect deterrent mm -hmm. stuff has to be a, a favorite. It is. It's made with all-natural ingredients, um, and it works exceptionally well. Well, and it's a smell you just never get tired of. Mm -hmm. um, talk about your, your family farm. This has a 100-year-plus history. What's the overview of Twin Creeks? So, um... My great grandfather um, started as as the farmer there. I'm a fourth generation farmer, yeah. um, and so I grew up farming cattle there. And uh, when my dad passed away six years ago, I felt closest to him being on the farm and wanted to put it back to work. Um, at the time, I was the surgical device rep and needed something I could manage. And so I looked into herbs, perennial herbs, and um, decided on lavender because of all the things that you can do with it. it smells better than cow. Yes, it does. Um, and and so when you when you went into the lavender world, away from all that. Uh, what changed for you? You you must face every day knowing that uh, the world's ahead. It smells good. You're your own boss. Yeah, all all of the above. Um, I do love what I do. It's probably actually uh, the hardest work I've ever done. Um, and to tell you the truth, there's so much to do that I don't really have enough time to think about yeah. um, all the other stuff. So, um, but I do love it, and I wouldn't trade it. Well, it was cute. I, I said, "Do you wear pretty lavender every day?" And he said, "There's one day a week when I'm even going to dress up because the rest you're just you're <laughs> just going." Um, what's it like for you? Uh, to set up at the farmer's market then. People come and they've got a lot of questions about lavender, what it can do for them. How do you love that interaction? Um, I, I love it so much. They, you know, they're, they're looking and requesting for new products and I, I joke with people and tell them that, I, that I've made things that I wanted and then everybody just pays for me to pay for myself and that it's um, actually a selfish operation. Well played. Um, the, the biggest thing that we're looking forward to though is our two, uh, 2023 U-Pick, which will start May 26th and go through um, July 2nd, and then we'll have an extra 3rd and 4th uh, of July celebration every weekend. Um, and then we sell pick, uh, passes in advance online, and if you purchase your um, ticket in advance, you get five dollars in free lavender. Well, that's this is fun. Talk about that experience. People are invited. They can come to your farm. They pick your own lavender. Um, paint that picture of what that experience is going to be like for somebody. So they're going to come check in, um, and then they receive a pick pass. And mm -hmm. so it's typically a rubber bracelet that's different every year, and that allows them to come visit the farm any day um, and every day during you pick um, without having to pay extra. That way, they get to see all the different seven varieties bloom um, because they bloom at different times. So our Augusta folias will bloom. Um, and at the end of May, early June, and then the big, huge plants will bloom from June into the beginning of July. Um, so it allows them to have an experience, um, and also, too, if they're just having a rough day and they just want to come sit in God's country, they can do that and get some peace of mind. With the with the wonderful scents and then the yes. calming everything. Yes. Um, you also have a sunset picnic coming up June 23rd. It's your first one. What's that? Happen? We do. Um, so we are providing um, picnic cloths, and we are providing, um, you know, we'll have crates, and charcuterie is providing uh, charcuterie boards. I'm we're looking into serving wine as well. Um, and so they're just going to come out and enjoy a picnic at the sunset um, right beside the lavender. Very good. Well, you know, as we're, we're wrapping up our Grown Local Week here on Access yeah. Carolina, and we just learned so much about kind of life on the farm and, and, and what it's like. Um, can you sum it up, uh, I guess, life now as, as a farmer versus life before in the rat race? You know, I, I truly loved being a surgical device um, rep and, and bettering the clinical outcome of the patient. It was a passion of mine for 17 years. Um, it's very different being a farmer, and, you know, this is something that I put my hands on all the time. And, and when you see it produce the lavender, um, it's just a, a wonderful feeling because, you know, we got it right again. And, yeah. um, and it's something that everyone can enjoy. You know, I think when you grow up on a farm, you kind of take the farm life for granted. 
and then you realize that not everybody has access to that. And so when you see folks' faces when they come out and they're just kind of in awe and they just you see them peace. I mean, I have children that have been to every you pick and I get to see them grow up on on my farm, which is pretty special. Well, a lot of pride in what you do yes. and I know you just really got a passion for it. So we appreciate yes. you bringing it to our set today. Michelle Duckworth from Twin Creeks Lavender Farm. Thank you very much. Thank you, you so it. much, Margaret. Uh, we want to put your information on screen. People can find you at the Farmer's Market and your social media on screen now as well. We'll have a link to your website on Access Carolina.